I specifically called and asked for you because I love the show. Okay. And you're fantastic in it. And then I learned that you're Australian. And of course, my wife is Australian. And I was very excited to hear that you were. Where, do you, where are you from? What part? I uh, grew up in Melbourne, but then I moved to Phillip Island. I don't know where that is. Two hours south of Melbourne. Okay. Bottom of Australia before Tasmania. It, it's an island, a literal island? No, it's connected. It's misleading. Oh, it's, misleading. it's just called an island? Yeah, they're uh, just trying to make it sound snazzier than it is, probably. But everything there is snazzy. I mean, it's beautiful there. And penguins. Has anyone heard about this? Penguins on Phillip Island. It's, our, it's like the major attraction of Phillip Island. Little, tiny little penguins. The only thing that can't kill you in Australia are penguins, because <laughs> everything else can kill you there. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 So, and then you, you moved here 12 years ago, is that right? Yes. And then in Los Angeles? Yes, straight Boy, to LA. Straight that's very LA. different. Oh man, my friend Brendan picked me up from the airport, took me to Trader Joe's. Um, <laughs> I cried. <laughs> in a bad way? Look, I was just like, why is everything in bunches of 10? And I just want to buy one avocado. I don't understand. Why is everything the same brand? Like, where's the other? And I think it was jet lag, but... Um, <laughs> I'm for, going with jet lag. First of all, that's the first place your friend took you when you got... I know, straight from the plane, never been to LA before, Trader Joe's. Well, so you've only gone to grocery stores? <laughs> we have lots of other things here, you know. There's, there's the a... essentials. Yeah, you know? I um, understand. They should yeah. have been at your place of the home. I know, <laughs> home. my place of home. Yes, your, that's what we call it here, and refer to it like that from <laughs> now on. That's what he said. I yeah, will. place I will. of home. Yeah. Um, and you're celebrating your third wedding anniversary, I, and I learned something today. Congratulations. Yes, somebody would clap. <laughs> You've made it three years. I know. Um, and, and I learned this today, and I've never heard of this before, but in Australia, you, in Australia, you? When, <laughs> in Australia? Place of home. Uh, place of home. <laughs> in your place, in your place of home, um, Australia, when you decide to get married, there's a cooling off period. You have to like wait to make sure that you're serious about one it. One month and one day. There's a one month and one day cooling off period. Wait, so you register someplace like at? Yeah, you go to like the births, deaths, and marriages. You register to get married, and then they make you wait a month and a day just to see if you change your mind. And it says that you get a little like a, a brochure. Like, do you really want to do this? <laughs> I've never heard of that. Australia, it's is great. That, it's all of Australia? Yes. Porsche's never mentioned that to me before. I, I think yeah, she didn't want you to have the cooling yeah, off period. Yeah. She's like, right, yeah. let's get married well, here. Well, we got married here, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, but then I hear that you, so you wait a month and a, and a day, uh -huh. and then what happens on the day you're supposed to get married? No, the day after I registered, I um, was super stoked, like really excited, I'm getting married, went for a walk and had a little playlist, like, I'm getting married playlist, and was changing one of the songs. What, and What were the songs on your getting married playlist? Uh, they're actually a bit weird, actually. One of them was Waiting on You by... Anyway, they're quite dark. Um, <laughs> <laughs> OK. My husband's going to be like, oh, my God. Um, on my walk, listening to the playlist, go to change one of the songs, trip over, just leg goes two directions, snap. Broken, broken leg. Just walking? Honestly, I'm surprised I didn't break something on the way. <laughs> are you, are you? Just like Gwen Stefani's wedding, Wow, right? We wow. look the same. Very similar to her wedding. <laughs> um, so, so that was, how long were you in a cast? Uh, about five weeks. I was working six weeks later, so I was, I had to be okay. Wow, what were you working on then? Uh, the show Strange Angel. I remember we had a sex scene on day one. I was just so relieved to take the weight off my leg because it was so sore. I was like, oh, finally, I, at least I can lay down now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, whoever would have thought. And yeah. what, but what was your position of your leg? Was it broken? <laughs> like... <laughs> Never mind. That's not, that's, that's none of my business. Uh, more with Bella after this. We're back with Bella Heathcote. Let's talk about pieces of her. It is a thriller, and you do not know what's going on until the very, very end. And it leaves it as if there could be a second season. Yeah. Will there be? I hope so. There should be. But tell everybody what you can without ruining it. What's it about? <sighs> it's so funny, because I was doing press with Tony, and I feel like we had such differing views about what's it about. I mean, essentially, there's this massive act of violence and the way both of us respond sends us off into these two totally different directions. And I realise my mum is not who I thought she was. 
and she's just trying to go to any length to protect me, and I'm trying to go to any length to figure out who is this witch. Yeah, it's it's like it the the very first episode, the very first like ten minutes is crazy, like assaulting to you. Like you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, yeah. and then the rest is just a thriller, like what's happening. And then you were shooting, so Tony Collette is uh, your mom in it, and uh, and you both are Australian, and you shot it in Australia, and yet you had to use an American accent. How difficult was that for you to be surrounded by that? It's so funny. When I first moved out here, I did this job and there was one Australian AD and I was like, keep them away from me. I cannot hear an Australian accent, blah, 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 blah. Stayed in my American accent for six months. Like, as soon as I speak Australian, the whole facade's going to crumble. And then this, I was just like, oh, well, everyone's Australian, so joke's over. Yeah. I would think that would be very hard. What's your, what's your American accent? Tell me something right now in American. Ooh! Um... Oh my God, shut up. No, really, what? <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, that, that's American. That's, that's his. In our place at home. Um, Pieces of Her is available to stream on Netflix now. I want to thank Bella Heathcote, Gwen Stefani. I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks for being a part of my final season. I feel the love in this room. I send it back to you. Go out and spread it around in the world, everybody. Bye. Yeah.